I yeah. wanted to add, I wanted to uh, caveat on the um the 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 phrases. So I don't think people understand the gravity of those phrases because you know once you first start you don't have a lot of money in them so you just write them down on a piece of paper you say all right whatever. But like truthfully how should somebody be guarding those phrases? How how like like what kind of security should be done to protect those phrases? Right. So I thought about making a really funny joke, but then let me be serious with this. So um, obviously in the beginning, right, you should always write down in nice bold letters all your 12 words. Some some wallets have 24. So it's usually a 12 or a 24, right? The 24 is basically if um, so there's some people that believe we're going to get like these kind of um, high level computers at some point where they'll be able to hack into a 12 word. So a 24 would just make it so much harder for them to kind of guess your passwords. Okay. But tip most wallets, I would say 99% of wallets have 12 words. So you write down these 12 words, nice, bold, printed, no cursive letters, where it's like unmistakable to read them. Then you make three copies of them. And that's the beginning. That, and that right there is probably like the first part of it. You it's need, you need it. You, your password should never go on the computer. They should never be on your phone. Phone notes, they shouldn't be on any clipboard. Nothing digital at all. It has to be analog, like pen paper. Yeah. Pen paper, <laughs> no phone. I mean, literally, I would have tossed my phone right now. But like toss your phone away. No computers in a, a damn near in a dark room with a flashlight. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and then with, with your, if you're doing a laptop or a computer, covering the actual like camera on your computer, nothing around you. You write down these words. You don't like Apple, Google, you know, whatever the words yeah. are and stuff like, you know, you don't write, you, 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 in silence. Then from there, once you have your three copies, this is the mistake one that people make, they, the computer stuff, right? But outside of that, they make only one copy. So, so once it gets destroyed, it's gone. Other mistake people do is like they memorize their words, mm -hmm. which there's pros and cons to memorize. <laughs> there's pros and cons for people memorizing the words because there's something called wrench gang where mm -hmm. they, people will, will hold you up and try to fuck you up to get your passwords. Really? Yeah, and then you'll give them the passwords. It's like, you could beat me up. I don't know my shit. Like I, oh, like, okay. I don't even remember what I ate last week. <laughs> oh wow. yeah, yeah. So, it, so it's this whole thing where, like, yeah, it's like you. There's nothing to get. Like, even Richard says it's like, go, like you, they, you could beat me up. Like, there's, n I don't even know my words, right? It's that whole thing. There's so, so there's, there's that. But then you're trusting that your processes are in, are in good enough health that you can actually defend your stuff. Another mistake people do now, th now, a, a couple people have had this happen to them. Not many, but it's going to be more uh, in the future. Is that people have their seed phrases like that piece of paper written down or in nice paper or whatever they do. And they put it in a safety deposit box because it makes sense, right? You like, yeah, we put it at the bank. No one will be able to rob that. It's a piece of paper and most people won't know. But at some point in the future, everyone's going to know by crypto within the next 10 years, everyone, like 40% of the population, possibly maybe even like 25% of the population will be in crypto where they will have a knowledge. Of what so anyone working in the financial sector is more, especially if you're working at a bank, will probably know what a seed phrase is at that point. So you can get to a point where people might open safety deposit boxes. Wow. Right. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. And they could rob you blind. One so day. people actually, so the people at the bank actually have access to your safety deposit yeah. box. And the, gov and the government, the government did not pass a thing where they can actually open your safety deposit boxes. Yeah. That's so insane. it's, so it's totally useless now. Don't, do not put your, do not put your seed phrases in a safety deposit box. Bunch of horse shit. That's crazy. Now, now that's mistake number two. In order, so, so the way we tell people is obviously you, right now you couldn't like, this is just, you know, getting someone started to have three copies, put them in a safe place. Preferably, I don't know, uh, somewhere where you have access to it, some somewhere where you trust a trusted person or just a place, another property you own, or just somewhere hidden, or you you can make sort of like, um, you can grab a favorite book or something and then sort of like makes, make us like, figure, you can make your own your own words where, where like you can have a portion, like this word on this page, this word yeah, on this Yeah, like page. underline it on pages I, Yeah, and stuff. yeah well, I mean, I, well, yeah, you can do something like that, right? But you can definitely do something like that and then that'll keep you safe. And then also on top of that, if you've memorized, you just rebuy the book and you find your codes again. Right. Yeah, that, that's another way to do it. But then there's a second level, right? Where you then, um, there's, there's essentially bifolds. I think it's what's called bifold.com. It's basically a wallet where you make, you basically put your seed phrases in metal. So it's like a metal alphabet. It's like a card. It's like a card like this big. Mm -hmm. And you can literally put like Apple, this word, that word, all 12 words. And then literally if your house burned down, it wouldn't, it wouldn't oh, get destroyed. Okay. That's so that's, that's, cause that's one of the only risks, right? So obviously, uh, one of the risks is if you live on the coast, like I do, or like you lived over there in Florida, tsunami or hurricane Hurricanes. or a fire, and then it's, it's gone. So the only thing we got to risk, I mean, in the desert and deserts like, you know, here or like, 
up the, uh, or anywhere in the United States in the desert. The only thing I worry about is a fire, really. So, so you're like, so you're talking about you're you're going as far as like you know natural disasters. Yes. And things. So you, so people, we we really need to be protective of this. Like this, this needs to be like held like very closely, and 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 always somewhere where you know where where you can find it, where it's going to be at. Yeah. So okay. So so th there's that, and then on top of that, like um, not putting your codes on like mobile devices. Or stuff like that as well. Like you, you could have a little fuck around wallet. That's fine. Like I tell people, they can have like I, I call it a condom wallet, but like you could have a little like you could have like a trading wallet or something. That's fine. You know, whatever, a couple thousand dollars here and there. Maybe you're like, oh shit, the price is really like because you know we all work, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I worked, I used to work in the landscape. I used to work in landscape and construction and stuff like that. So I would be on the field sometimes. So sometimes I need, I'd have like access to like a couple thousand bucks, and I'd buy like a thousand dollars a hex or a, or a Ethereum back in the day because the price went low, and I was like, holy crap, and I snatched it up, but. Then from there you take that you take that money and transfer it to a safe wallet, and then once so once you've created a wallet, then you go buy a, a Trezor Model T or a Ledger Model S. Mm -hmm. And I mean personally, I recommend the Model T, but the Ledger S is totally safe as well. And then that creates an, another layer of protection mm -hmm. on your main wallet. So you're, so you're essentially making you're protecting your keys, and on top of that, you have a second layer of, of protection that that doubly protects your coins. And you've created basically a bank vault. So you have a place where you have money, like the free, like a hot wallet is is a, is a wallet that's connect like a MetaMask that's connected to the internet. Then you have like something a ledger or a or a treasure that's like a cold wallet, which means it's not connected to the internet. You only you only log in when you want to access it, and then as soon as you're done, off. And I, it sounds like damn, Miguel, that's a lot of bullshit to do with this. Yeah. But but you are taking custody of your money. Yeah. But that's power. responsibility. Power. It's power, people.